20 gang-related sports hats you should never wear in Los Angeles. Ever since the birth of organized crime, outlaws needed a way to quickly identify each other in a crowd. At first, gangs went with more obvious solutions, such as a particular kind of clothing or tattoos that both friends and enemies could easily recognize. Soon, however, it was clear that these accessories could potentially make them vulnerable to raids by law enforcement. With more and more courts using tattoos to link defendants to specific criminal associations, gangs in the United States were naturally forced to evolve. Today, most gangbangers in Los Angeles use sports hats to show where their allegiances lie. So, if you're planning to visit the City of Angels, here are 20 pieces of headgear you should never wear while strolling through a gang-controlled neighborhood. Number 20. Pittsburgh Pirates Baseball Cap a favorite among Mexican-Americans, the Golden Pittsburgh Pirates cap insignia is often worn by members of the Primera Flat Street Gang. Although they're relatively small in size, the group still controls large swaths of South Central Los Angeles. The Primera Flats gang members usually meet in and around Trinity Park, where multiple gunfights involving rival sets have taken place in the last 30 years. Whether you're a Pirates fan or simply like the way the hat looks, Consider taking this headpiece off if you're visiting the area. Number 19. Michigan Wolverines Football Hat Perhaps as a reference to the gang's initials, the M on the Wolverines football caps has been adopted by members of the Main Street Mafia Crips. One of the many Crips cliques in Los Angeles, this predominantly African-American gang is well known for their tendency to shoot first and only identify the target once they're already bleeding out on the pavement. Like all other Crips crews, the Main Street Mafia remain in a state of war with the Bloods. If you spot a tag belonging to the latter while you're wearing your Wolverines hat, remember to run for cover. Number 18. St. Louis Cardinals Baseball Cap It might be the red color or the letters on the insignia, but this hat from Missouri is often used by members of both the Black Peastone Bloods and the Bloodstone Villains. As the name suggests, the two African-American gangs belong to the Bloods Alliance. Although the LAPD made numerous arrests in the last decade, the crews remained particularly active. Wearing a St. Louis Cardinals hat anywhere in that area could not only be dangerous, but also get you into trouble with the local police department. Number 17. San Francisco 49ers Football Hat the black, red, gold, and white logo for the San Francisco 49ers is often associated with the family Swan Bloods, yet another of the African-American criminal groups that populates Los Angeles. Surrounded by several enemy gangs, many believe that this crew has managed to survive only thanks to the brutality and ruthlessness of their lifestyle. As the Crips and the Bloods settle their differences on the streets, Wearing a 49ers crest anywhere in the city will drastically increase your chances of getting caught in the crossfire. Number 16. Boston Red Sox Baseball Cap Considering the Red Sox huge popularity among baseball fans, the common man might struggle to link the team's crest to any kind of criminal activity. Nevertheless, these hats are usually worn by both members of the Brims and a variety of other gangs in the Blood Alliance. As such, Red Sox fans should be extremely careful in Los Angeles. This is especially true if they're exploring the westernmost parts of the city. Number 15. North Carolina Tar Heels Basketball Hat With the light blue lettering and the intricate designs, gadgets from the North Carolina Tar Heels are an obvious choice for any Crip-related click. Among them, members of the Roland 90s neighborhood Crips seem to have elected this club's insignia as their own. The team's logo is particularly popular in Inglewood and can be easily spotted in the streets that surround Jesse Owens Park. Note that wearing a Tar Heels cap anywhere in the eastern part of the city could attract unwanted attention from the Bloods, whose long-standing rivalry with the Crips has brought violence to several of these neighborhoods in the past four decades. Number 14. Florida Marlins Baseball Cap Another set of primarily blue accessories, items from the Florida Marlins baseball team are extremely popular among members of the Crips. More specifically, younger bangers belonging to the Roland 50s neighborhood often use these caps to show their allegiance. The item choice is likely related to the F in the team's logo, which some say members of the gang link to their group's initials. Although the Florida Marlins officially changed their name to Miami Marlins in 2011, number 13. 
Minnesota Twins baseball cap. Following the trend we saw with the last two entries, the blue, white, and red T logo of the Minnesota Twins has also been adopted as the standard for a Crips gang. The caps remain particularly popular among criminals affiliated with the Roland 30s Crips, who proudly wear the letter as a warning to their enemies. The Roland 30s occupy and control large territories within the city and the whole state. As a result, wearing a Minnesota Twins cap anywhere in California is an extremely ill-advised fashion choice. Number 12. Milwaukee Brewers Baseball Cap The M in Milwaukee has apparently little to do with the gang, yet the Blue Brewers hats have long been worn by members of the Roland 40s Crips. This African-American crew is still particularly active in Western LA, where its affiliates are known for the violence and brutality of their actions. As with any other Crips-related paraphernalia, wearing a Milwaukee Brewers hat in Los Angeles might attract unwanted attention from the Bloods, who are always eager to beat their enemies to a pulp. Number 11. Chicago Bulls Basketball Hat it is almost obvious that the logo of the Chicago Bulls would have been adopted by a Bloods gang. In fact, these hats are the favorite headgear of several cliques in the Alliance, whose members often wear them because of the color. Alongside the red shirts and the baggy pants, the Chicago Bulls basketball hats clearly signal a gangbanger's affiliation. You should tread lightly around these people and avoid them whenever you can. Number 10. Chicago White Sox Baseball Cap Another common insignia in the streets of Los Angeles, the White Sox logo on the team's black caps, is a recurring part of the South Los 13's uniform. The S on the hat stands for South Central, one of the gang's first neighborhoods, but also signals the group's affiliation with the Sorreños Criminal Alliance. Armed and dangerous, the South Los 13 are one of Los Angeles' most feared gangs. Whenever you're visiting the city, these are people you definitely don't want to be associated with. Number 9. Philadelphia Phillies Baseball Cap A white P on a red field stands for Philadelphia Phillies, but has also been used as an unofficial crest for the Piru Gang. The criminal group is one of the founding members of the Blood Alliance and thus remains at war with the Crips, the Sereños, and other minor cliques in the city. The Pyrus are particularly active throughout Los Angeles, Fresno, and the entire state of California. Wearing a Philadelphia Phillies hat in these areas might be dangerous as confrontations between rivals are often sudden and gang fights erupt without any clear warning. Number 8. Kansas City Royals Baseball Cap At first glance, the Kansas City Royals KS logo seems to perfectly fit the needs of the Los Angeles Kitchen Crips. The blue colors are similar to those historically used by the Major Criminal Alliance, while the letters are often associated with gangs' names, making these caps an obvious choice among the clique's members. Just like any other Crips, the Kitchen subset count a long list of enemy gangs whose members might feel inclined to hurt anyone they see wearing these tags. Number 7. New York Yankees Baseball Cap if you ever stepped into the most dangerous parts of LA, you likely saw members of the neighborhood Crips gang sporting a New York Yankees hat. These caps are extremely popular among African American gangsters, who often use their dark blue color and white letters to reveal a cult-like loyalty to the Crips. While the Yankees might be, at least in the eyes of some fans, one of the greatest baseball teams in America, wearing the team's cap in Los Angeles is definitely a bad idea. Number 6. Los Angeles Angels Baseball Cap A large capital A with a halo on top, the crest for the Los Angeles Angels means something entirely different to those familiar with the city's underground criminal world. The logo is primarily used by outlaws in the Athens Park Bloods, although other bangers representing the Blood Alliance have also been spotted wearing it. Considering the violent nature of these people and that of their rivals, Los Angeles Angels caps have long been and still remain a no-go throughout most of the city. Number 5. Oakland Athletics Baseball Cap Another capital A, although this one doesn't feature the blue colors typical of the Crips Alliance, the logo for the Oakland Athletics baseball team soon became a prime choice for criminals in the Avalon Gangster Crips. This historic clique can be found along LA's Avalon Boulevard, where the group specializes in both violent and petty crimes. Fans of the A should pay particular attention to what they're wearing while in the city, 
as their favorite team's official logo could get them into trouble with many of the local gangs. Number 4. Texas Rangers Baseball Cap The T on the Texas Rangers crest stands for the team's home state, but is also associated with 8 Trey Gangsters, one of LA's best-known African-American Crips gangs. Members of this group are particularly famous for their violence, which often leads to gruesome killings as well as in-gang fighting. You should refrain from wearing a Texas Rangers cap anywhere within the greater Los Angeles area, while paying particular attention to the people around you if you ever need to cross the eastern part of this city. Number 3. Seattle Mariners Baseball Cap The Roland 60s neighborhood Crips are widely considered one of the largest gangs in Los Angeles. The criminal group has been around since the mid-70s, and its members often use caps from the Seattle Mariners baseball team to show their allegiance. Many believe this choice has to do with the S on the caps themselves, a letter the criminals associate with their gang's name. Due to the age of the group and the brutality of their MO, hatred towards the Roland 60s has spread to encompass the entire city. As such, you should never wear any of these hats while you're visiting friends in LA. Number 2. Houston Astros Baseball Cap With their large white H and the blue background, the Houston Astros caps have long been a favorite of the Los Angeles Hoover Gang. The logo might have been chosen because of its affinity with the group's name or as a billboard for heroin, the association's main source of income. Either way, wearing a Houston Astros cap in LA will at best get you the stink eye from a few people and might turn you into the victim of an assault. Number 1. Los Angeles Dodgers Baseball Cap The LA tag on the Dodgers merchandise is a homage to the city of Los Angeles rather than to a specific creed and is thus used by criminals belonging to several of the settlement's associations. Both African-American outlaws fighting for the Crips and Latinos that are embedded with the Sereños can be seen wearing this logo, perhaps in an effort to honor their roots. Since both the Crips and the Sereños remain particularly active throughout the state of California, wearing a Dodgers hat in or around LA could potentially have catastrophic consequences. This was our list of the 20 gang-related sports hats you should never wear in Los Angeles.